Hi, Carl from Hot Carl Productions here. Today, I want to talk about the new La Oa Cine Lens Bundles and why I prefer shooting with these to these. For starters, these lenses are tiny and they weigh next to nothing. They're super easy to use on any rig that you put them on, from gimbal to backpack to tripod. Each lens also has a crazy minimum focusing distance. Typically, minimum focus distancing is about three feet or so on most lenses, but these are within six inches. That's nuts. Laowa has two bundles of three lenses. The wide bundle has a 7.5 millimeter lens, a 10 millimeter lens, and a 17 millimeter lens. The wide plus macro bundle has a 10 millimeter lens, a 17 millimeter lens, and a 50 millimeter macro lens. Personally, I like the wide plus macro bundle as a 50 millimeter is an MVP lens. It's a telephoto and 2x macro. It's crazy versatile. Plus, the Wide Plus Macro Bundle is $100 cheaper than the Wide Bundle at just $1,350. Separately, these lenses would have cost $1,597. You end up saving about $250 bundling. I've been using the Wide Plus Macro Bundle for a few months now, and it's had a big impact. I've been able to leave two cases of lenses home. I've done two talking head interview things, four music videos, and a short film with only those three lenses being used. How cool is that? Sadly can't show everything yet, but all the clips you're seeing were filmed with those three lenses. The 17mm is my new go-to lens, but for Laowa, my default was a Zine 20mm lens with a speed booster. They have very similar focal lengths, so it makes sense that I'd love the 17mm as well. One cool thing is the Laowa 17mm is micro four thirds native, so the weight difference is staggering compared to the Zine and speed booster. I can easily use the 17mm on a gimbal without counterweights, so I can go from gimbal to backpack to tripod or whatever else without customizing my rig. It saves a lot of time. I love the 17mm because it's kind of like the equivalent of a 35mm on a full frame camera and that's a great all purpose focal length. If you're filming a movie, this lens is great for uh, wides, doubles, over the shoulder conversations, singles on a character, walk and talk, you name it. It's going to be your great all purpose lens. The widest lens in this bundle is a 10mm which has zero distortion and it's incredible for capturing landscapes, architecture, and wide establishing shots. If you're working on a movie and you start filming on the scene, this is going to be the lens that you're going to start to go do your establishing shots. When filming music videos or live shows, this is the lens. It's magic. You can capture the whole band, film an individual, or even warp things by having the singer stick their hands really close and it'll stretch the fingers. I love this lens. I'm going on a tour later this year and it's going to be the only lens I'm bringing with me. And the wildcard lens, the 50mm macro with 2x magnification. If you're filming a scene with two characters talking, this lens would be great for an over-the-shoulder, a single, a medium close-up to extreme close-ups, and the bokeh is stunning. For music videos, this lens is awesome for down the fretboard shots, macro b-roll shots, all sorts of cool stuff. And then if you back up, you can get really nice bokeh and just like blur the hell out of the background and just really focus on your subject. Also, if you want to show details of anything, this is your lens. It can go up to 2x macro, so the closer you focus the minimum distance, the more it magnifies. It's totally magic. Every time I use one of these lenses, I'm like, God, this is my favorite lens. They're that cool. Um, I'm, I'm so impressed by the engineering behind them. I mean, it's ridiculous how they're able to squeeze this much performance out of something this light, cheap, and super easy to use. One thing that was crazy to me about these La Oa lenses is just how transformative they'd be to my shooting style. For every shoot, I always bring two cases of lenses. I have one for zines and I have one for Rokinons. And I use the Rokinons for gimbal work and then the zines for non-gimbal work. I just don't need to bring them anymore. I started leaving them at home. These lenses are so light, they're so easy to work with, and the quality is so nice, and like the image is just awesome. That That's all I bring. The three lenses. I bring a, a 10 millimeter, 17, and the 50. And that and I'm set. That's it. That's all I need. It's just, it blows my mind. If you're looking for some great glass, snag a bundle. They're light, the build quality is great, and they're priced most excellently. If these had been out a few years ago, they'd be the gold standard. La Oa also has non cine versions of these lenses. They're cheaper, but they're made out of plastic, they don't have focus rings, and the aperture is not declicked. They also don't come with an awesome weather sealed hard shell case. There's a small weight difference, but it's negligible. If you're comfortable focusing by hand or on a budget, these can be an excellent option. La Oa continues to innovate with these unique and functional lenses. Cheers and thanks for watching.